know we're just getting out of the summer season, we're going into fall, and with any changing of season, of course there's the potential of getting sick. I kind of put together this fire cider tonic. It's like a good for you, well-being shot. If you've ever been to like a juice shop and they have um, like a wellness shot with like apple cider vinegar or lemon or cayenne, I have made this tonic, which is a lot of those things, and water, and I make a batch of it so it can last me and Adam for like about a week. And we made it a couple weeks ago and we brought it on our trip when we were traveling and we loved having it and when we were on the go as just another kick to our immune system. So our fire cider tonic, let's make it. So first things first, let's go over the ingredients. We have apple cider vinegar with the mother. I use the Bragg's kind. This is turmeric and this is ginger. I use one lemon and then this is cayenne powder and maple syrup. Then I use this big, huge mason jar <laughs> and lots of garlic. I'm a lover of garlic. Um, you don't have to use this much, but I like it to taste a lot like garlic um, because I can basically eat garlic by itself. So I love it. And um, it's actually quite sticky, so just know that when you're cutting up the garlic, your hands definitely will get gross. And then I'm cutting up the ginger and I don't have to make it too small. Um, I don't really worry about it too much, but I just put the whole thing on in there and then the turmeric, same thing for that. Although it looks like carrots, it's not. <laughs> and then the whole lemon, I cut it in thin slices and then try to get the seeds out as much as possible, but I don't really worry too much about it. And then the cayenne, and you'll see here, I, I probably could have used more, but um, yeah, you can always add more or um, yeah, do that later, later on. And then maple syrup, um, I put a little bit, it helps cut some of the like bitter or sour taste out of the drink. And then shaken up apple cider vinegar and put it in there. And then I heated up some water and you'll see I fill it up almost all the way with hot water. Um, and the rest I, I'll pour like cool water in after it seeps for a little bit. It steeps. And then, yeah, see, so yeah, it's not all the way. And then I pour the cool water in after five minutes. Then I'll let that steep for about an hour or so before pouring a glass for myself, um, just because you want it to taste really flavorful, or else it'll just taste like infused water, which if that's what you want, then go for it. Um, but this is definitely gonna taste more like a tea if you wait, which is what I'm going for. And you can drink it hot or you can drink it cold because um, you will be keeping it in the refrigerator. And then here, yeah, you see I'm straining it and then I put it back in because there's no need to waste any of it. And I'll put it back in to keep it strong. So yeah, there you go. Well, like I said, you can either drink it hot, so you know you strain it, and then you can put it in the microwave because you will keep this in the refrigerator in the last about a week if there's two people drinking it. And yeah, you can heat it up in the microwave or you can obviously put it on the stove, but I actually prefer to drink this cold, either just straight out of the refrigerator or put ice in it. So either way, I just think it's really refreshing. Yeah, and you can always add more or less things that I did, if you like it spicier, add more cayenne, or if you don't like it so garlicky, don't put as much garlic. And then also with the cayenne, you actually can add like that or apple cider vinegar. If you want to add more of that later on, you can. Any bit, you can add on later on, pretty much. So this is pretty much it. Like I said, it'll keep about a week for two people. Keep it in the fridge. 